And First Alert Meteorologist Chrissy Kohler, it's unsettlingly quiet in the tropics right now, especially for an active hurricane season, when typically this time of year we would be seeing a lot of development in what we call the main development region, which is that area stretching from the west coast of Africa into the Caribbean, in towards uh, the central coast of uh, Central America, as well as into the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that red area, that's where we typically see a lot of development, especially for the later part of August. So for things to be completely quiet out there is a little strange. Uh, this is actually for a couple of reasons. Normally we'd be tracking tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa south of the Cape Verde Islands moving into the warmer waters of the Central Atlantic whereas currently we're watching these tropical waves come off the coast a little further north north of the Cape Verde Islands. So that's some cooler water there. Cooler water inhibits the tropical development so that's one of the reasons we're not seeing a whole lot going on. The other reason is we've got a lot of Saharan dust that's moving over the those same areas where these tropical waves are entering into the Atlantic Ocean and that dry air again inhibits the tropical development. Uh, these tropical waves not able to hold on uh, long enough to make it through some of that drier air so they're falling apart by the time they make it further west out into the Atlantic where there is a little bit more moisture to work with. So right now it looks like the next week and a half through late August even into the early part of September looks quiet in the Atlantic. Still doesn't mean that we're in for a quieter hurricane season we still expect that activity to pick back up uh, middle to later part of September, and it is expected to be an above normal hurricane season by the time we fit wrap things up at the end of November.